Southwest Territory, 1860. The West was young and growing, timbered with hopeful pioneers who hoped to turn this new land into a literal paradise for their cattle and farms. There's no water back there, Dad. There might be some in that gully over there. You drive on ahead and I'll have a look. All right, but be careful. Don't be long, son. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'll be right back. of gorillas like the Younger Brothers, Black Bart, the Dalton Gang, Sam Bass, names that have since become symbolic of the early West, plagued their every step, shooting, robbing, burning their dreams into shattered shambles of hopeless nothing. What do you want? We want your horses, Grandpappy. Well, I'm sorry, they're not for sale. Who said anything about buying them? Now get on off of that wagon and shut up. had to be tough to live long, and that went for bandits who had conquer it in their minds, as well as cattlemen and nesters who had defend it in theirs. To many, it was a long, hard fight. To others, it was hopeless. Some turned their teams toward home again. Others, not so lucky, stayed behind. Their only monument, a wooden cross in Boot Hill. Who were they, Dad? I don't know, son. The, the leader, he, he took my ring.
Who is he, Colonel? Cameron yeah, Gallison. Outlaws killed his folks back at Crooked River. Any idea who the outlaws were? Mighty slim clue. The fellow that done it stole his dad's ring. That's all he's got to go on. But you know what? He's a gunman if I ever seen one. Don't ever remember seeing his equal. He can sure make them guns smoke. Yes, sir. Lee. Well, I guess it's about time I'm moving on, Colonel. Whatever you say, son. I know now that you can handle yourself in any kind of company. The only thing I hope is that you keep those guns on the side of the law. Thanks for everything, boys, and good luck. You know you're going to be hearing about him, Beak. I recollect he'll spend the rest of his life running down that outlaw. Yeah, I reckon he will. You can't help liking that fella. Besides, did you hear? He called us boys. <laughs> well, come on. We got work to do, boy. All right, boy. riding shotgun on this trip? Sure, same as always. Well, I think I'll go along. That gold shipping is bait for any bandit. Kind of glad you decided that way, Colonel. Any passengers? No. Nope. Just as well they ain't, as long as we're carrying gold. All right, bud. Never in my life have I seen such a poor excuse for what it's supposed to be, men. Why, you're acting like a bunch of pack rats, bringing home a lot of useless truck and robbing poor folks. Now listen to what I've got to say, and this time get it straight. There's a large shipment of gold leaving town. Should be through Rocky Gulf sometime this afternoon. Now, if you do like I tell you, you shouldn't have any trouble. But if you muff this job, I'm finding out why personally. Kent. Yeah? I'm talking to you, too. I heard you. Then look at me when I talk to you. You men can do this job if you use your heads. We'll do it, because this ought to be a cinch. Yeah, I've heard that before. Just do it, that's all. Well, Kent, you better get started. That stage is not going to wait for you, you know.
How are you looking at Kent? I wasn't. He was looking at me. He's always looking at me. I wish you'd tell him to stop. You've nothing to worry about. I'm here. You may not always be here. What do you mean? Someday they're going to turn on you. I know this is no place for you. As soon as I get what we want, we'll clear out. You'll see. Colonel? They got me through the arm, but I'll be all right. How about you, Deke? Oh, they just nicked me. But they didn't get the cold, did they, Deke? No, they didn't. <laughs> Will you take it easy? We'll get you to a doctor in a jiffy. Get a good look at his face. Some new deputy, maybe. A minute, I thought there was a whole posse after us. Go pick up his horse. Lucky ain't gonna like this. I don't care what he likes. I'm tired of getting shot at. While he stepped up, I like his brains is too important to risk. I think it's about time he was told off. Lucky? Yes. And it's turning up the trail. I told him to come up the creek, the crazy fool. Anyone can follow him up the trail. Ken ought to know better than that. One of them's been wounded. He's lying across the saddle. 
Someday the law is coming up that trail. Then what? Well, I know how you feel. But it's the only way out for me. When I get money enough, you're leaving. But it's been three months now. I've been living here watching you work with these, these renegades. Mother wouldn't have wanted You leave Mother out of this. Mother told me what she wanted before she died. I'm going to keep my promise. She wanted you east, and that's where you're going. I'm sorry, sis. The doctor says you were pretty lucky, Deacon. He says that bullet only grazed your skull and knocked you out. Well, the way I look at it, I'd have been a corner for the hit any place but my head. <laughs> well, Colonel, I guess there's nothing left for me to do now that you're all fixed up. I'll be getting on. Where are you heading? Any place in particular? A mighty particular. I'm hitting the trail for the men who shot you two up. Shamrock, look in that top drawer and pick yourself out a badge. What do I need a badge for? Well, if you're a deputy, the law's behind you. Swear him in, Deacon. It'll be a pleasure. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to perform the duty? <laughs> What's the matter? This is your right hand, Deacon. Oh. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear to perform the Butch any better? No, he's worse. He needs a doctor. He says nobody knows him in town. We'll see about that in the morning. What happened today? Old John Law was riding the coach. His posse surprised us. They're the one that got Butch. We cut back and picked him up before they started out again. Why did you have to come up the trail instead of the creek? Leaving tracks so plain that even a tenderfoot could follow. But shut up like that, we couldn't have made it. Besides, nobody found us. That's something we don't know for sure. But if you'd done like I told you, this never would have happened. You don't follow a stagecoach, you head it off. And now when you do as I tell you, or get out. Don't be scared, man. What do you want here? I, uh, I must have lost my way. Can you tell me how I could hit the trail of Dodge City? I don't know. You better go. You're in danger here. They mustn't see you. Well, what goes on? Who mustn't see you? I can't explain. Please go. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I didn't mean to get you all head up. Thanks, anyway. I'm giving you boys just one more chance. If you fail this time, you can keep right on riding. I'm getting tired of feeding and sleeping you. And not one of you bringing in enough to pay your room and board. Ann! Come here, what do you say? See who's at the door. They call me Shamrock. Or to put it more bluntly, I'm hot cargo. What for? They're not very fond of road agents down there. I've been trailing across country all day. I'm kind of hungry. How are you with the shooting irons? It's my chosen profession. It is, huh? Well, let's see your fruit. Take it easy, boys. I'm just obeying orders like the man wanted. That's right, boys. Take it easy. Dan! Bring him something to eat. He looks hungry. When did you say that fella got slugged? This afternoon. He's pretty badly hurt. Well, I know something about wounds. Maybe I could help. Good. Let's go have a look. Why can't we be friends? I'm not such a bad guy.
It's a bad wound, all right. My guess is the bullet's near the lung. If blood poisoning sets in, he's done for. I wouldn't dare touch it in that condition. He ought to have a doctor. He says he's not known in town. You think you can stand the ride? I didn't come through town. They wouldn't know me either. I'll take him in for you. Good. You'll both leave in the morning. Keep away from me, Kent. I'm telling you for the last time. I'm glad you're not telling me anymore, because I'm getting kind of tired of hearing it. That's the way I feel about it, Kent. I was only kidding, Lucky. Kidding, this old man can't even talk around here anymore without you getting jumpy. Then leave her alone. There's other people to talk to around here. All right. That's the way you feel about it. that no one follows you on the way back. I'll take care of that, Lucky. Howdy, Colonel. How's that wing of yours this morning? Oh, it's getting along all right. What brings you into town, Shamrock? I brought you a wounded prisoner. He's over at the doc's office. He's one of the gang that shot you two. Say, that's good work, Shamrock. How'd you ever pull it off? Well, after I brought you in and the doc fixed you up, I went back out and picked up the trailer to the hideout. You mean you know where we can find them? That's right. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, no, not the fast boys. First of all, I want to find out if they're the men that I'm after. Well, that's pretty risky, isn't it? I know, Colonel, but it's a chance I've got to take. I wonder if it'd be worthwhile going over talking to that prisoner. No, it'll just be a waste of time. He's pretty badly hurt. Well, I'd better be riding. There are other matters that need my personal attention. You'll be hearing from me. Good luck to you, son. You're sure going to need it. He's got about 30 riders. He said he could use us if we want to come over. Where's Gentry now? He's holed up in the Alabams. What's the deal? Same as before. He's got one of them new Gatlin guns. We're going to clean out the town and all the stock across the border. Should be a good cut for everybody. What's well, about time? We'll let Lucky do his own stick up from now on. You boys get your duds together and ride. I'll be along just as soon as I tell Lucky we're through. Gentry. Well, maybe it's just as well. There's been too much killing anyway. Miss 
Like this, Lucky. Me and the boys have decided to pull out. What do you want me to do about it? Cry? You'll be seen anymore. Keep out of this. Get in the house, Ann. What's happened to Lucky? Regular wildcat behind them guns, ain't you? In a man-to-man -man fight, I'd break every bone in your body. and hot water. We'll see if that helps. Shamrock. Don't let him get away with a shamrock. Make him pay. Now, take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. We'll get him. Oh, all the men left me. I want to join an outlaw by the name of Gentry. He's hiding up in the Alabamas with about 30 men. He's got a Gatling gun. He says he's going to wipe out the town. Oh, my eyes. You take it easy, Lucky. I'll go help Ann. Oh, I'm sure that water's boiling. Whose ring is this? Well, it's Ken's. That is, he gave it to me, but I refused to wear it. This ring belonged to my father. No. Don't blame Lucky, please. He didn't have anything to do with it. Kent did it. When Lucky found out about it, he was furious. Anne! It's all right, dear. Here I am. Where's Shamrock? I'm right here, Lucky. I've got to talk to you. Alone. What is it, Lucky? I know you may think this is strange, but I'm asking you to put up your guns. If you have to use them, use them on the side of the law. You're only saying that because they've left you and you're all alone. No. No, it's more than that. My dad was shot down by a trigger-happy deputy. 
who thought he was an outlaw. Before my mother died, she made me promise to Dan that I'd send Anne east so that she'd get a proper education. I didn't know how to get money quick, so I, so I took it. How do you and Kent tie in? We don't. Kent would kill a man for a horse. That's all he killed my folks for. Your folks? Yeah. And I let him get away. Give me back. Give me back for Ann. I know he will. I need your help, Shamrock. I don't think you'll show up today, and by tomorrow morning you won't be able to show up. Don't worry about Ann. I'll see that she gets east. Thanks. That's the way the plan should work. And you say the rest of the gang have joined up with Gentry's forces? That's about the size of it. He's got close to 30 men and a Gatling gun. A Gatling gun? What a thing of a bob like that that could clean out the whole town and run every head of cattle in the valley across the border. That's exactly what they intend to do. And if we want to beat them to the draw, we'll have to surprise them at dawn. I'll send out a signal for every rider we can get. Good. Oh, and you'd better have him wear a white neckerchief, Sheriff. That way we won't be shooting our men instead of the outlaws. Yeah, that goes for you too, Shamrock. Get out of that Indian garb and into some dubs like the rest of us. Or every one of them outlaw guns will be pointed right at you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I guess we'd better start gathering that posse together, Sheriff. It'll take most of the night. Yeah. I've warmed up that soup for you now. And? Yes? I want you to stay in the cellar tonight. But why? I know what's best. Just do as I say. Get a couple of blankets so you'll be warm. All right, Lucky, if you insist. I got a call to make. I'll see you boys later. All right, Kent. I'll tell Gentry. You don't want me up here. I'll be all right, Ann. I'll feel much better about you. I'll be sure to keep good and warm. Thank you. 
posse's forming in Yucca Canyon. Tell your boys. That's right. Yucca Canyon. Spread the word. Yucca Canyon! We leave from Yucca Canyon. Hit him at dawn. The Alabama's at dawn. Don't you fret none, sis. Try and get some rest. My eyes are feeling much better. Maybe I'll be able to see a little. We're getting out of here in a few hours. to make up for it. I think we better be going into town. Shamrock. Well, that accounts for all of us, Tony Deacon. That's the works. Do you have anything to say, lad? Just this. Remember, boys, we're going to try to surprise them. The thing you've got to watch out for is the Gatling gun. We're going to concentrate on taking it. Are you ready? That's as ready as we'll ever be. Let's ride.
Gentry. Whoever got that cat and cut did the trick. Let's take a look. Take care of him, boys. Talk her out of it. Oh, come on, just slide out of here. Look at you. 